Well, I hope you enjoyed that wonderful song from Stuart Townend and his band, See What a Morning. Today we're going to use Eucharistic Prayer 5 on page 18 if you have a blue service book to hand. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Worship and praise belong to you, Father, in every place and at all times. You made us, all the people of the world, and everything that is. You give us the daylight. Your word lights up our minds. Jesus was born among us to be light in our darkness. Your spirit lives in us so that we can look at the world with your eyes. One day we will be with you in heaven, but already we laugh with the saints and angels and say their joyful song. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Father, you never forget us or turn away from us, even when we fail you. You sent your son Jesus who gave his life for us. He healed those who were sick, cared for those who were poor, and cried with those who were sad. He forgave sinners and taught us to forgive. For all your love, we give you thanks in the way that Jesus showed us. On the night before he died, while he was having supper with his friends, he took bread and offered you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, it is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup. He offered you thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant. It is poured out for you and for all, that sins may be forgiven. Do this in remembrance of me. So as we do what he told us, we open our hearts to him. We remember how he died and rose again to live now in us. Together with him, we offer you these gifts and in them we give you ourselves. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and on this bread and this wine, that they may be the body and blood of Christ and that sharing your life we may travel in your company to our journey's end. With all your people, we give you thanks and praise through the Son and in the Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The Living Bread is broken for the life of the world. Lord, unite us in this sign. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, 
forever and ever. Amen. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, give us your peace. And so this is the table of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is made ready for those who love him and for those who want to love him more. So come, you have much faith and you who have little. You have tried to follow and we who have failed. Come not because I invite you. It is our Lord and he invites you to meet him here. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. The body of Christ, broken for you and for me. blood of Christ poured out for you and for me. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is gracious and his mercy endures forever. Heavenly Father, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as his death has recalled us to life, so his continual presence in us may raise us to eternal joy. Amen. God the Father, by whose glory Christ was risen, from, raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and with all those you love wherever they are, today and always. Amen. Just before we have our final hymn, just to say that the church, St Andrew's Kelso, is open on Wednesdays and Sundays as usual. We have our Eucharistic service on um, Wednesdays at 10 and then our usual Sunday services. I'd just like to take this opportunity for Keith and I and Bob and Pat to wish you a very happy Easter. Have a wonderful day celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so it's very fitting that our final hymn is Thine Be the Glory. Enjoy singing it in the comfort of your homes. And so, now go or stay in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of Christ, alleluia, alleluia. <laughs>